Hey everybody! So I've added a decent amount of fragrances to my collection recently and I want to go ahead and talk about some of them. I'm not going to talk about all of them but I am going to talk about my most recent purchases because your girl has been going crazy. I am absolutely on a no buy right now. I am so excited to share some of these fragrances with you. Some of these fragrances were, were gifted and I will make mention of that and I will most likely put that down in the description box as well. I want to be completely transparent so I definitely am going to put that down below. So. Here's some of my newest fragrances in my collection. The absolute newest one that came to my house recently was Oriana by Parfum de Marley. And I know, I know, and some gold, or on some gold, but like, come on, the bottle. And my reasoning is absolutely ridiculous. It's literally the bottle, and because it's Parfum de Marley, and because I wanted to, you know, have another Parfum de Marley because I have Delina exclusive. But I also feel like when you're smelling them side by side, this one's a little bit fruitier, a little bit lighter, a little bit airier, a little bit rounder. Um, there's subtle differences there, but in all reality, in all honesty, on some gold will do you just great, save your pocket so much more. But I'm literally like stubborn and I just really wanted Oriana. I went really, really, really crazy and I got some cupcakes. There's cupcake is is Minnie Mouse and this fragrance is really really sweet literally probably the sweetest fragrance I have in my entire collection it starts off with like a syrupy fruity kind of feel um the first few times it was almost kind of medicinal to me and I think that might have been because it's like a powdery kind of marshmallow as well as a whipped cream note coming through but this fragrance is just so gourmand and vanillic and marshmallows and raspberry and whipped cream and honestly it's really 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 sweet this is not going to be your everyday reach but i'm absolutely obsessed with the bottle i love the collaboration and i'm a disney stan so i needed it since i had mini I also needed Mickey. So this is a really nice coconut fragrance. So when I first got this fragrance, I didn't really think that it was anything special. I just kind of thought it was like a straightforward coconut. I was like, whatever. But I have worn it more frequently. I've gone out in the sun with it. And I've also sprayed it on my loved ones and kind of let them wear it out and me smell it off of them instead of myself. And this is a really gorgeous kind of ambery coconut. And there's a little bit of cacao in here. And this... The lasting power on this one in particular is outstanding. Um, House of Siash fragrances, I find that they don't always last the longest, which, I mean, it's fine. That's fine. I'm still going to buy them. I love the bottles, and some of the scents are really, really, really nice. But this one lasts like crazy, and I thought that was absolutely insane considering it's just like a coconut kind of amber scent it's pretty straightforward i believe there might be some bergamot or something in there up in the top notes but it's very simple and it just lasts so well it smells so good you're not gonna offend anybody i could definitely see someone wearing this to disney and being able to wear it the whole day out in the sun and not being offended but still smelling amazing um this is definitely really really good i I'm impressed with them both actually and this one is probably my favorite cupcake and this is Hufflepuff and this one is another lemon gourmand I have probably about four or five now I need to chill I think I'm about done with that kind of scent profile um, but this one is so delish this one's definitely like a soft kind of lemon opening and then you're going into like this creamy kind of coconut vanilla cream situation very similar to la donza by noble 1942 i find that they have that kind of coconut vanilla cream situation in common um it's very similar except for the one in this fragrance it's like a little softer a little more subdued attached to that soft lemon and then it kind of turns into this like delicious light fluffy cake scent and i just really like this um it's definitely up in my top for you know that lemon gourmand kind of scent profile i definitely think this is worth sampling and yeah if you're going to get a cupcake at all i definitely recommend this one um yeah oh my god if i would have dropped that Another new fragrance in my collection is Cure Impertinent, and this is by Mugler. So sorry for my pronunciation. I have gone on Google Translate and sat there listening to her pronounce this for minutes, like 10 minutes. I just can't get it. Like, my, my tongue does not roll like that. If somebody can help me, please do. Um, but this is Star Anise. It definitely comes off 
very much licorice um, with a dry kind of tobacco in the center or the heart of it and the base is this very beautiful smoky leather um, it's amber and leather and it's very smoky kind of round and this whole fragrance just blends together very beautifully and i definitely recommend this one um i have not tried the others from the um les, les exceptiones line but i definitely feel like this was a banger and yeah love it love it love it love it you definitely have to like licorice though another newer fragrance in my collection is rosendo matu number five this one has been going kind of viral on tiktok lately just a little bit but this is a very gorgeous sensual ambery musk floral kind of scent and it's definitely meant for close encounters um it starts off with this like rubbery like burning rubber kind of smell um, I feel like after you've smelled it a few times, you definitely get used to it and you find that it's like more of a spicy kind of exotic scent and stuff like that burning rubberish kind of smell. Um, I definitely feel like that's more of like a first impression kind of thing because after like the third time, I didn't really get that anymore. Um, but after that, it's like ambery and it's sensual, it's musky, it's floral, it's very beautiful. Um, it's good on a man, good on a woman. powdery it's definitely kind of powdery um very powdery actually yeah and i just really love this fragrance um it lasts forever in a day and it's just i don't know it's just it's good it's really really good another new fragrance to my collection is gold mart absolute by carolina herrera cacao along with myrrh along with vanilla along with a black pepper it's spicy but yeah this fragrance just the way everything blends together the chocolate note in here really just is gluttonous like i feel like gluttonous when i smell this but this is just delicious and indulgent and this is such a delicious scent it's warm spicy and oh, it is everything for me you guys definitely need to get your nose on this i cannot recommend this enough and i'm so happy milk bold this is amazing so milk bold is a think like fire roasted smoky marshmallows over i like sweet sweet roasted marshmallows over a smoky kind of firewood this is really delicious this is lactonic this is super sweet super marshmallow so like it's ambery it's just everything gourmand it's the ultimate comfort scent and i had this in a travel i tested it in a sampler kit and i used both i just could not get enough of this and i'm in love i'm obsessed new to my collection here to stay and this one was actually a gift from my boyfriend and this is yara and listen okay so i have seen a lot of like mixed reactions so i just kind of expected to hate it i was like okay well you know a lot of other people hate it i probably will too so i just kind of had really low expectations for this but then when i went ahead and tried it i was like okay she is a nice beautiful fruity tropical sexy hot girl kind of fragrance it's like a very easy grab and go i would definitely throw this in my bag this is really beautiful i think the bottle is so pretty like I'm a pink girly, I'm a girly girl. I'm like either all black or like super girly. There's no in between, but this is a gorgeous bottle. This is a gorgeous scent. Um, lasting power, you know, not my fave, but listen, she's super affordable. The bottle's freaking huge, so you can spray as much as you want. Like, this is so good. Um, I definitely think this is really good. I definitely think it's worth putting your money into, and I'm really happy to have this in my collection. Like, I don't have that many Arab fragrances in my collection or Arab fragrances, I'm not really sure how it's supposed to be pronounced, but I definitely like Yara. It's a yes from me. I saved these for last just because they were gifted. Niles, the creative director of City Rhythm, reached out to me and asked me if I would like to try some travel sprays in exchange for my review, and I absolutely said yes. Um, I have been eyeballing City Rhythm for a minute, and I picked out three scents, and I want to talk about them all. They're all very special. So the first one is New Orleans 
Jazz and Booze and this one is probably my favorite or maybe it's just because we're in fall vibes. I'm not sure because these are all really good. Um, New Orleans Jazz and Booze basically starts out with like this very boozy black cherry in the beginning. There's a lot of supporting fruits. There's lychee, there's raspberry, there's jackfruit, there's cinnamon, even butter. A bunch of amazing kind of gourmand fruity notes in the opening and then we kind of move into like this pastry territory. I'm definitely getting like a powdered beignet and there's booze in the background and a little bit of fruits coming in and then I definitely get like a woody vanillic kind of dry down. There's a little bit of earthiness to it and I just feel like it's the perfect balance of everything. It smells absolutely divine. I cannot stop spraying it. I've literally only had this for a few days. Look at this dent. That's absolutely insane. That is like unheard of for me. So like I'm not uh, probably gonna order it soon I'm just like on a no buy right now because like as you see there's kind of a lot of fragrance like this is an expensive hobby it's on my to-do list I'm probably watching me break my no buy but let's let's not let's not do that but like I I feel like I'm going to because I actually really don't want to be without that fragrance I I really really like it so the next fragrance is Miami and I really like this fragrance. So this fragrance has lime in the opening, it has saffron, and it has ylang ylang. It has like some cedar, it's, it's like some woodiness, and this like, this fragrance smells like a tropical drink. It smells like, um, it's like one of the most delicious coconut scents. It's like milky, creamy, it's very like, it's kind of spicy. It's really interesting. This is like, an exotic kind of coconut fragrance but it's also a very wearable but like also very versatile you can wear this kind of year round in my opinion especially me i live in florida so it's mostly tropical year round like nice weather year round and absolutely delicious um this this smells amazing on a man but this also smells amazing on a woman um i definitely feel like it's unisex Maybe a little masculine leaning, nothing crazy, if anything unisex for sure. But I definitely really enjoy this fragrance. I definitely need to play with it a little bit more. I've been kind of like a little biased in playing with New Orleans Jazz and Booze a little bit more than Miami and the next one I'm going to talk about. But this is an amazing scent nonetheless. I definitely think I'm going to get like a 50ml of this one. This one's really, really good and I am definitely going to get some use out of this. And my partner likes this one a lot. He wants a bottle of this for himself. I have had the least experience with this one, but this one is so interesting. And this one is Miami Tropical Confessions. So this one is obviously a flanker of the original Miami, and this one's much lighter. This one's kind of like a more fresh spicy on my nose. To me, okay, this is what it gives because I can describe it better with like a scenario. So this is like... You've been lounging out in the sun all day, you have like this gorgeous tan, and then you're like getting dressed and like your makeup is like so nice, but like it's not too much because like you already just have like the perfect canvas because you've been out in the seawater all day, like your skin's great, you're tan, you're wonderful, beautiful, whatever. And you just look amazing, you're wearing this gorgeous dress, and you're like out on a boat having like dinner, but it's like private, and you're like having like close encounters and just like, mm. I don't know I just get like this whole like romantic scenario in my head it definitely is like giving um, summer nights summer drinks close encounter and seductive I feel like this one's a little more feminine leaning but unisex as well so I think this is really cute so I feel like Miami is like the more wearable version it's a little bit more toned down a little bit more woodier um, definitely wearable more wearable I think it's a little more masculine and this one I feel like it's like a little bit more lighter brighter more feminine um, I really really enjoy this fragrance um, I definitely prefer the other two more but I definitely like this fragrance I'm gonna be getting a lot of use out of this and yeah this is kind of like my collective haul like the last month or two or month and a half something like that but yes again thank you so much this Give this video a like, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Um, what have you added to your collection recently? I am super interested actually. So uh, thank you so much for the support. Till next time, guys. Be easy. Bye. <laughs>